In cyanotic heart diseases, usually we're talking about a right to left direction of shunting. So the bluer, less oxygenated blood on the right side is going to the left side and out to the body. That's why we become blue or cyanotic. Now the counterpart to cyanotic diseases are the ones that are not cyanotic, obviously. So they, the shunting in these situations go from left to right. So we have the red blood going into the deoxygenated part. All we get is blood going to the lungs, having a higher content of oxygen. This doesn't turn anybody blue, so they're not cyanotic. Aha, but there's a catch. There's something that can happen later on in this child's life that suddenly turn them cyanotic. An example I want to use to talk about all this is a heart disease called coarctation of the aorta. Coarctation. It's a fancy word for restriction. Coarctation of the aorta. So, like I said, it's a restriction of the aorta. And it looks like this. So instead of our nice big aorta that we had before, in this case, the aorta comes down here and whoop, there's a little coart there, right there. Actually, it could be anywhere, but that's one of the most common places to have it. So, and the rest of it goes on. So this little squeeze here creates a lot of resistance. Resistance. Because there's a lot of blood flowing through the aorta at any second. And to have this bottleneck here creates a lot of resistance, which again increases the pressure. So now we have the left side having even more pressure than before. And covartation can be its own isolated def defect, but sometimes it also involves a VSD, ventricular septal defect. That just means a hole between the two ventricles. So here we have our VSD. So if we have both, just to drive home the idea of the shunt, think about, so the blood going into the aorta has a lot of resistance here, and then it's gonna back up right into the VSD. So the shunting goes this way. So let's say we don't fix this coarc, no surgery, this child grows up. I mean, they'll have kind of compromised flow of blood into their system, but they can survive. Now the while we have left or right shunting, we can live with that. But imagine what happens to a muscle, to this specifically to the right ventricle muscle that is receiving more volume of blood than it's used to. Usually there's no shunting here, and the right ventricle does its job by pumping to the lungs. But with all this shunting, we have all this extra volume of blood to the lungs day in and day out. Anytime you exercise a muscle too much, it becomes thicker and stronger. So imagine this right ventricle is thickening, and it's learning to work harder and harder. I'm just gonna draw it in here to drive home the point. So now we have this thick wall of the right ventricle. Now remember that the left and right ventricles squeeze together at the same time. And usually the left ventricle is so strong that we get blood this way. And then one day, finally, the right ventricle has grown big enough it's gonna give one big squeeze and it's gonna overpower the left ventricle and the blood is suddenly gonna go this way. So instead of our right, left to right shunt, now we're going right to left because the right ventricle now has the greater power. This little phenomena of the reversal of the shunt now going right to left because the right ventricle has grown so big is what we call Eisenmenger, Eisenmenger depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, and this usually happens around age five or six, depending on the child and what their actual structure looks like. And I used blue here because suddenly our shunt is going from deoxygenated blood to oxygenated. Now the mixing happens the other way, and now the child is cyanotic. I just threw in the coart here to drive home the point, but even this child just had a VSD, it would be the same thing. Initially, we would have left to right going this way with a big left ventricle, and eventually it'll reverse. So Eisenmenger just refers to this reversal of the shunt. So just because you're born with a left to right shunt doesn't mean you get out of being cyanotic forever. There's always the potential to reverse the shunt, end up having cyanotic heart disease.